Bradley YouTube. This is Spencer with GouldArrow.com, product of the month, which is the Weller Soldering Station. Uh, my main use for this uh, unit here is to, be, to uh, solder up RC components like uh, bullet connectors and motors, uh, that kind of stuff, electronic speed controllers, um, harnesses, power harnesses. Uh, these are little 2300 kV electric motors for like a quad racer. The use for this guy is going to be for a little uh, twin where I want to do some routing uh, where these bullet connectors come in nice. Um, these motors don't need bullet connectors this size are like three millimeters but I got some uh, speed controllers here with the bullet connectors already installed just to make it easy. So nothing real high end or fancy but just just to show how the unit works and uh, so you can actually see it in person and video. Real nice thing about the soldering station, if you don't like soldering iron, it just has a normal 110 plug on the side. You can put in your unit of choice for that. You get the power switch, uh, good heavy base, place to hold the soldering iron, and of course the sponge to clean off all the goobers left behind. So it's just showing, doing some uh, bullet connectors here. And of course these have a little tiny hole right there which helps you feed the solder in and get everything done. So what I normally do, of course everyone might have their own flavor stuff, this is uh, rosinless solder. I'm using some, some flux rosin right here. Get all these leads all Looped up just a little bit. Of course, this doesn't need anything too fancy. You can get it just right. And pre tin these, this will help the whole process. Plenty of options on the market. Nice thing with this guy, he's usually under you know, thirty to forty dollars on Amazon, and it's a really good buy for everything you're getting. Hasn't given me any problems at all, and I've done quite a bit of uh, soldering work with it. So if you're getting into drone racing or something like that, or just Personal electronics works good on that. It works good for circuit boards or something like this. This is just more a show off kind of the brute force of the machine, putting in these bullet connectors, nothing too fancy through the process. Just uh, let's see here. loading that up with solder. Of course, if we want to be ultra efficient, we could either direct solder these onto the ESC. That would require a little bit more diagnostics. You want to make sure it's spinning in the direction you want it to uh, before you, you know, commit to anything permanent before you put on the heat shrink tubing. Of course, with a three-phase motor, you just reverse any two leads and it'll spin the other way for you. But with this, this is this isn't you know pushing the envelope of performance or anything like that. Just trying to keep it easy and simple. Plugging in the next guy. And here we go with this guy. But I have done direct soldering right onto PCB boards before. Slightly different technique with that. Got to be very careful with the heat when you're directly. Uh, soldering onto a circuit board or it can melt stuff easy. That's where this um, power control comes in nice. You can vary the power that's going into the soldering iron before you actually, you know, melt something. Whereas if you just have a normal soldering iron that plugs directly into the outlet, you don't have any control over the power. So that is definitely a good selling point of this particular unit or anything with the uh, power control, it's most likely current, 
stay controlling. And if you are doing circuit board work, you're going to want to clean off the end of the soldering iron. Oops. Might have let him go a little too soon. Another good piece of equipment to get if you're starting to get into all the soldering stuff is a set of helping hands. Definitely don't want to be holding these by your hand because it is extremely hot and you'll get burnt. And also the helping hands make it steady. So right here, we're just letting the, letting the actual bullet connector cool down a little bit before we move it because it's still semi-liquid for a little bit and it would un it just let itself go. Should be good now. So... Hopefully uh, get a good idea if you've been looking at one of these. There's a link below where to buy it on Amazon. Um, yeah, so if you're in the soldering iron market, for drones, just personal electronics, really good unit.